Good evening everybody, welcome. Today we're playing a bit of fishing North Atlantic. We currently are just on the way out to go check out the long lines which I, or deep lines should I say, deep lines, which I've got baited up with herring and they've been getting some bites so we're going to check them out. We've got four of them here. I have a crew member on board. We're going to go check out and see how much fish we can get. We are chasing the good yellowfin tuna. At the moment, I think it's going for about 30 to 40 dollars a kilo. So we're in for a good haul if we got some good fish. So let's go right ahead and get on in. We've got to travel a bit more down. We've drifted away from land. We're coming out to pick up the lines. It's just up over there that I can see. So we'll cruise on over there. <clears throat> in the meantime, I'll do is I'll come down here, I'll turn off these lights, I don't need the spotlight on it's on there, the searchlight we have running lights on, we also have work lights on interior lights alright we'll go ahead here, talk to the crew ask the crew to go ahead and get ready for the deep line haul today we have Sadie Lewis working with us She's not too bad at the deep line, so we long line as well. So we'll definitely check out and see how we go here. She's a pretty good cook too, should get her to do some cooking. Alright, so we'll keep on uh, cruising up over. She should be out the back there now. Yep, ready to go. Oh god. A bit off course here, turn a bit more to the side. <clears throat> and up over there. And when we get close enough, I'll uh, switch the motor off, hopefully get out there and uh, Look up the line and see what fish we got here. Should be interesting. See how big these tuners are. Apparently they can get up to an excess of 900 kilos, so... Could be pretty good. Hopefully... We get there in time. There we go, alrighty. So we're hauling it up now. Oh, let us see some fish, eh? Just hook. Alright, so we'll try and... Oh, I got one on good. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll see how we go here. How big is it, I wonder? Done, say. Oh, perfect. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like they're getting fish as well. Uh, another one. Perfect. That's two back to back. Not too shabby. That look like big fish too. Oh. How much we got there? 941 kilos, I think is what we got. Let's have a quick look here and see in the storage. <clears throat> Catch time. Four minutes ago, tuna, 941.4 kilos. It's not bad. That's pretty good. That was previous. That was the quotas. That's how much we can get up to 50,000 kilo. In our storage on the boat, we still have 5,000 kilos. So if we're getting just under, was it under 1,000 kilos, just under a ton. <clears throat> The next three lines should be okay to get. So I'll turn around. What I might do actually is uh, let her go and rest until we get to the next uh, next deep line to pull up. We'll see how we can go here. Let me see my marker there. So what I will do is jump out. Actually, you can see down the bottom left there on the sonar that there is tuna around. There's actually quite a lot now, so that's actually really good. That's a good sign that we're going to have some good fish on here. On this deep line. What we'll do, I'll go ahead. <coughs> of course, get out Sadie Lewis again. I might just call her Lewis. A bit easier than saying Sadie. And uh, get them on the deep line hall. Get them ready to go. Make sure they're out ready to go. Yes, they're out ready to go. Alright. Turn down. Stuff. Uh, turn down my motor speed, sorry. And swing around here a bit more. Well, I don't want to go backwards, though. Try and get close enough. Try and haul in this, uh, big line. If we're in the right distance there. In, in there. Alright. Try and push this over to the side here if we can. I think we have a side. Whoa, you don't want to go backwards, eh? Hey? What's going on there? Oh my god. Oh, 
Alright, alright. Oh yeah, back. I found this actually quite uh, iffy. It is quite uh, sensitive here for some silly reason. Doesn't just want to. Yeah, we'll see if we can get this on now. Okay, there we go. Start hauling up. See how we go. Oh, it's over that side there. Whip. No. Missed that one. Alright, we'll try again. There you go, perfect. That's what we like to see, ladies and gentlemen. It's <clears throat> another good fishy, and oh, it's okay. Not the best, but it's okay. Then you get better weights if you get perfect. So we'll see what we can do. Just the two fish on that one. Just the two fish. Okay, but that's still 583 kilos. So that's still a decent amount of fish. So that's that's not too bad there. I should actually uh, mark the fish again and. Uh, Select the fish type, go down here to tuna. Select it. Stop, uh, select it and then we're going to mark it here as well. I'm going to put it down. Place the fish. There we go. Stop placing fish. Alright, and then I want to start marking waypoints again and see if I come down this way at all. Is it going to. No, it's not going to let us. Okay, I don't know why that is. May. Uh. Gotta prep the gear. The gear is already prepped, I think. There's not much that you can do, so I'm gonna put her back in the resting. Thank you. Help me out that get the fish there. We now have let's have a look and see how much fish we actually have. Fifteen hundred kilos, that's alright, not too bad. Another two lines to go, maybe we might get some bigger fish. We'll have to wait and see. <coughs> Alright, now that uh She's resting, can we, no, we can't, okay, I don't know why we can't fast travel, that is really, really odd, why I can't fast travel there, so, what I will do is, I might, uh, see if I'm trying to get it to, no, I can't fast travel, it's a bit odd here, well, I can't fast travel, but, uh, uh Oh, very odd, but that's right. I can lay uh, put marks down anyway, so I know where I'm going. Like that, still place some way marks. Alrighty, though so I can definitely see where I'm going. And then what I'll do is I'll chuck it back onto autopilot again. Ten knots, and we'll start going towards the uh, markers. I don't know if autopilot will actually go to where I've marked, or if I actually have to do it myself. I'm not sure. We'll see how we go here. So far, it seems like he is going to my markers, which is good. Got a bit of time here. And what I might do, I might just jump up and give us a little bit of a tour of the boat. So, we've got here, from this section at the front here, is a spot here, the doors here. We can go to the front, which is where you do harpooning when you first start the game. Actually, come out here on the bridge. Now if you call it a bridge or ramp, call it a ramp. <coughs> And this is where you do your harpooning for your uh, swordfish when you first start out, which is quite fun. Do the tutorial, it's definitely worth it. Make sure you do, I think I got 10 fish or 12 fish at first, the swordfish there, and that actually set me up with enough money to be able to give myself a crew and uh, set up for the deep line fishing. So definitely worth, you know, doing a lot of fish as much as you can. Let's start there, at least 10. Come right down here to the hatch. So we go to the cabin and stop your harpooning. And here we got the cabin, of course. Got our driver's seat. The time I spend most of my time. Steering wheel. Obviously, you know, you got a touchpad there. Which is your uh, logbook. You can your logbook and all that kind of stuff there, which is just up here. You can check your journal, your bites. I tell you, you're getting bites on my lines, which is cool. We're going to get the rest of them now. Uh, your catch tells you how much fish you got. <clears throat> so first one we got 941 kilos, second one we got 583.9 kilos. So it's not bad, that's actually pretty good, pretty good. So, I'm happy with that. A gear. Alright. Now I guess that deep line, baited with herring. I don't have um, bait, I have to go back to the dock to bait up my deep lines. 
but that's okay. We'll do that after we get our fish. What's I got here? The sails. <clears throat> now, when I first started there two days ago in game, I uh, got swordfish. We were able to sell that for twenty nine dollars and nine dollars a kilo. We had twelve fish, all the sort twelve swordfish, and we we're able to get a combined weight of two thousand eight hundred eighty point three kilos, which netted us a nice profitly. Nice good profit at $83,787.24, which is pretty good there. We went uh, on to, I uh, had to go back out there again. Um, what did I did hire a staff and accidentally fired him at the same time. It was so silly, pushed the wrong button, of course. That's why I went back out on my own. When we got back, we were actually able to sell for twenty eight ninety four, which is a little bit cheaper than what it was when we first started. But we still had 10 and we were able to get 58000 So that was enough for me to set up. My boat for the deep line fishing, and uh, as you can see here, in total swordfish caught so far, 22, with a combined weight of 4,896.3 kilos. Uh, tuna so far, 5, from the first two lines, with a combined weight of 1,525.3 kilos. And in total, 27 fish, with a combined weight of 6,421 kilos. And we've also been playing for 3 hours, 52 minutes. Well, that's what I've been doing, sorry. Uh, locations of boats discovered 5 out of 39. I've already got the one boat, but we can always go and get more boats later on. That is completely fine. Now, go okay, here, you got the wiki, which you can sort through all the info, getting started there. Well, your general info prices, how you deliver fish when you go to the port, and how do you cruise, what they can do, what each attribute accounts for. If I go down to crew management here, it actually says how to obviously locate your your crew and where to place them to do different things and certain stuff uh, there was a bit of a glitch at first so what I did was I actually uh, saved the game exited the game to the main menu exited out to my uh, PS5 console main screen and then went back into the game as there was no updates I did check for updates there was none so went back in and was actually able to be able to select the uh, staff and I'm like, yep, sweet, cool. So we can actually start deep line fishing because you can't do it on your own. You actually need another staff member to help you do it. <sighs> you got your fish type information here about all your different fishes, your fish seasons at the moment. We're in August. <clears throat> and if we have a look there, let's see. Bluefin tuna, which is currently in, starts on the 1st of June and ends on the 15th of October. We're in August, so we're right in the middle. So that's a good timing for that one. We did do swordfish, which started in August and goes to October the 31st. So that's not too bad. But currently, we're uh, set up for the uh, Atlantic Bluefin Tuna here, as you can see. Gives you a lot of info there. Um, let's go down here a bit. It says that the bomb there, the tuna, is best caught from 1st of June to 15th of October every season. And the characteristics. characteristics Atlantic bluefin tuna may exceed 900 kilos or 2,000 pounds in weight and rival the black marlin, blue marlin and swordfish at the largest Perciforms. I think that's how you say that word. <clears throat> Throughout recorded history, the Atlantic bluefin tuna has been highly prized as a food fish. Besides their commercial value as food, the great size, speed and power they display as apex predators has attracted the admiration of fishermen or admiration, should I say, of fishermen, writers, and scientists. They are seen as a, uh, what do you call it, a sport fish, I think sport fish they call it, um, which is very interesting to go out and catch one. I haven't actually gone out and caught one myself in person. I would like actually to do it, but you have to go out deep sea. Because then they are very quick and quite a sort after fish for fishing. Um, as far as I understand, they are quite a good fight on the end of the line, so be something definitely there I'd have to look towards and go out and try them one day. Swordfish there, all the info about the swordfish and how big they can get there. Colony reached three meters in length, maximum reported is four and a half meters and 650 kilos in weight. So that's that's pretty hectic. The swordfish themselves, they are a lot slimmer and um, a little bit longer with their sword fin there, I suppose you'd call it at the front. Uh, so that's not bad. So you've got all the info here, silver hake, your lobsters, your snow crabs, redfish, haddock and mackerel, which obviously later on, even cod there too, later on you can go and catch them ones. There's the different uh, boats. 
Obviously, fish bait, your introduction there. Fish bait, fishing bait is a substance used to attract and catch fish. If you haven't been fishing, there's a good way to learn about it here. Uh, example, on the end of a fishing hook or inside a fish trap. So there's different, you know, obviously different ways you can fish. If you haven't been out fishing, then I suggest you go out and try it. It's very relaxing. Can be quite, you need some good patience though, because it does take some time for fish to, you know, bite the hook. It's not always that they uh, jump straight on there as soon as you cast in. All right, it's going down. We've got the different types of fish. We've got the uh, prawns here, also known as shrimp over in the States. Yes, here in Australia, we don't actually call it shrimp. We call them prawns. Yes, so you'd probably, first thing that comes to your mind is that old saying, uh, put another shrimp on the barbie. Yeah, we don't say that. It's, let's have some prawns. Yeah, prawns are great. <clears throat> and it's got crabs as well. Yes, we also call them crabs. They're, they're very nice. I love crabs. Krill. See, uh, this is where I get confused. You've got krill and you've got shrimp. Well, we, we call them all prawns. I don't think there's much difference between them. Um, very, how can I put it? Very similar. I'm not sure on the differences between them. It's something that I'd have to Google up myself and actually have a look at. I think krill might be smaller than prawns or shrimp, but not 100% sure. We've got mackerel. We've got a mackerel fish. Yes, it's got a real high oil content there in them. They're like uh, a lot of different fish we have over here in Australia. I can't remember the names of them, but uh, yeah, we do have fish that can be quite oily. I know a couple of people that do like them. I've tried them myself and they're quite oily. Anyway, squid, one of my favorite foods as well from the ocean. Nice color Mari. We cut them up into rings and bait, uh, batter them. Very nice. They are. They're good for swordfish and tuna. Or probably more than anything, swordfish. Your herring, good for lobsters. Better for uh, snow crab. Not too good for swordfish, but best for tuna, which is what I've got on my long lines at the moment. And the fishing tools, your introduction, your quota. I'll tell you about the quota and say how much you're able to catch in that one year. Explains about your sonar, your autopilot, gunning your fish here. I might have a look at this one actually. Gunning your fish will usually increase the price of fish when selling them. Unless you gut the fish particularly badly, less than two stars, you can also buy better knives that gut better or hooks for bigger fish at the fish market in any port. Note, the port will still buy ungutted fish from you at a lower price. Now, <clears throat> with the gutting fish here, it's got down the bottom how to use. To gut fish, go to the gutting table on board your boat, select start to gut the fish, hold down the knife and follow the line along the fish. You can buy a better knife to get better Gutting quality at the shopping any port. Well, for gutting, we don't do gutting. I think that's on the bigger boats. Once you get the bigger boats, you actually have to gut them and freeze them. And all the good, handy kind of stuff like that. Uh, long Info about the long line fishing there. Your net fishing. <clears throat> snow crabs. Oh, look at that. You have to measure them too. Oh, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Yeah, female crabs. Yeah, female crabs. You can't keep them. You've got to throw the, the female crabs back. Male crabs here, you can actually see it's the same over here in the show. With the tails, the female crabs have more round one. And most of the time, if you have a look under that flap, if they are pregnant and have babies, or eggs, should I say, they're usually under that flap and you can see them. Where the male ones, their shell is, or their tail, is actually pointy in the center there. Point out where you can see the difference between the male and the female there. The female is more rounded. Um, <clears throat> usually a bit smaller claws as well. So this is there, how to use them, how to do the crab pots, and everything else. Let's look down, you got lobsters, info on the lobsters, and you got measure them. Deep line is one we were doing here, where it says how to set the deep line, you know. And it also says there, deep lines are reusable, but need to be baited again at the port, under the how to use section there. So that's why I'm not resetting my deep lines. You got trawling, which is obviously with a net, you got info how to do that, we haven't done that yet, so we'll have to look at that one later. Scamma system, not sure what this is. It's a pioneer among producers of catch control systems. Their main objective is to offer commercial fishermen equipment for increased efficiency and financial gain. To set up Scanma sensors, sit in the control deck chair in your trawler, access the screen in front of you. This will enable you to customize your own screen with sensors. You have four window tabs you can set sensors in. Now, I'm not sure what that is for. Obviously not using it, uh, um, but that's all right. We can revert back to that if we do need, if we look at that finance tab here. 
you have your uh, fish prices. <clears throat> Why don't you fucking change that? No. Can't change it. Alright, so you got your ledger, you've got... Oh, hang on. Oh, we got out of it there. <laughs> Silly. I'll go back there, find it. So your ledger, you can go up and down here and see what you've done. And everything like that. How much it's cost to hire people and... You know, get your tips. You can get free tips at your bar, back in at dock, <clears throat> on land. You can also get, uh, you know, pay for tips to see where certain fish are as well, depending on what you're after. Uh, obviously there, it cost me 30900 to hire um, Sadie. Um, yeah, and I think it's 1.6%, I think I've got to pay for her. Let's have a look here. Come on, Sadie. Say Lewis, that's the name. Uh, I think it's like 1.6% or something cut I give her for all fish we get on board, which is pretty good, so it's not too bad. She's pretty good at deep line fishing, so we'll have to see how we go. And uh, anything else? Whoop. What am I doing here? Just taking off the autopilot. But that's alright, we'll turn that back on now and see. Let's we'll keep going. I'm going to go that and up it to the max and see what I can get it to. Oh, what is the max? Let's see, it must be 16 knots. Alright, that's alright. We'll see if we can actually get up to 16 knots. Should get us there. I don't know what's happening why it's taking so long here, but that's alright, folks. I'll uh, skip forward this time to try and make this uh, not so long of a video for you, and I'll come back when we get down to the uh, second last uh, deep line, and uh, we'll bring up the uh, fish and see how we go. Alright, folks, I'll see you very shortly. Alrighty folks, we're just coming up onto the next deep line here. Let's see if we can pull this one in. Hopefully we get more than uh, two or three fish. We'll see how we can uh, go. Yeah, I'll just turn down the speed here a little bit. And come up next to it. If I don't push them too far away. Hold the deep line. I did do it. Oh come on, what's going on there? Why is this not... Okay, maybe I was a little bit too quick there, I think. Alright, here we go. Let's start uh, some of these fish as they come up here. Boom! Perfection! Yeah, that's a good start. <clears throat> another fishy. Oh, here's another one. Oh, nah, it wasn't the best. That was only okay. It wasn't perfect, though. Come on now. You get better than that. Oh, there's another one here. Hey, that. that was good. Better than okay. Not perfect, though. That's all right. Any more fishy? No, that's all there was. There was three on that one there. Oh, how much did we get then? 849.7 kilos. Oh, not too bad. Second best so far. That's all right. Well, I haven't got far to go, so what we'll do, we'll uh, travel on out to the next long line, which is not too very far away. Alrighty. Alright, this is the last line. See how many fish we got? I can see at least three here, which is a uh, pretty good idea. Yep, yep, hey, uh, come on now. Boom! Perfection! That's what I like to see, folks. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get a, a ton here on this one. If we can get a ton. There's another perfect, the back to back. Very good. It's two. Come on, this one poo as well. Oh, I only got good, but that's alright. Two perks, one good, that's not too bad. Hopefully it's over a ton. Oh, we're over the three ton mark. 3,088.9 kilos. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, what do we get there for the arm? Oh, I can't see. That's alright, I will go to my logbook. Go out to the catch. There you go. 713.9 kilos. Not bad, folks. Not bad for three tuners. The one before that was a 
better, 849. And the one before that, again, I think might have been four feet, but that's all right. Not too bad. As for the gear here, set the line bait with herring. Well, we don't have any uh, bait. We have to go back to the dock. But in total, we have, where is it? Okay, I don't think it's going to come up with it now. No. I come up with that okay I think I can change on here yep from the map to the uh, fish farm I'll leave that on the map for the moment there is more fish down there obviously as you can see down there 200 meters down which is still pretty cool um, I think I'm going to be able to zoom it out I can yeah so there's quite a lot around I'll see if you can see lots out here that's so much so what I'll do is I'll actually mark that on the uh, map as well, go down here to tuna, select tuna, stop selecting the fish, and then we will uh, place it right there like that. And voila, alrighty, let's go, logbook, uh, uh, sales, can't see there, stats, so we've got 11 tuna on board, which is pretty good, so 11, 3,088.9 kilos, still pretty cool, should have, uh, that doesn't say there. Got a journal. Where was it? <coughs> All right. Well, you know, we'll see if we can go back. Uh, where's the closest stop to us here? We go back up to where we were, or we can go back right down to Yarmouth. Nah, it's not going to Yarmouth. I might go up to Digby. I think so. I'm going to go up here and sleep fast travel <coughs> to the Digby Gut Lighthouse. So let's on head on up there. We'll take it three hours, thirty-five minutes. So before I do that, though. Pull that back to the map, and I will uh, set a crew member back to the rest in. Good old Lewis. Keep forgetting the name. <laughs> Sorry, Lewis, going to probably hate me after all this, but that's alright. You can go and rest there. And what we'll do is we will uh, go on fast travel. Show the top here. <clears throat> to the Digby Gut Lighthouse. Which we can uh, then go and see about selling all the bluefin tuna. Alrighty folks, so we're coming back in to the docks here at Digby. Just uh sewing on down now. And go ahead and dock. Alrighty, would you like to see catch at Digby? Yes, of course I would. Alrighty, so we have at the top there of the screen price forty dollars and sixty-eight per kilo of tuna. We have three thousand and 88.9 kilos. The revenue is there, $125,656.53. Oh my god, folks, that is a good payday. Well, also got the expenses for the crew member, Lewis, 1.6%, which is $2,000. Not too bad for a little bit of a fish, man. I'll tell you what, makes me want to go out there and jump on a boat and go do it myself. At least then I won't have to worry about catching any of these, uh, yeah, pandemics that come around the world at the moment. But anyways, we will sell the fish, which will give us $123,646. Thank you very much. While we're here, we will go ahead and bait back up. Oh, I might see if I can buy some more lines, actually, if I can. Do that. Yep, I've got maximum eight lines now, so that's all good there. Don't need to sell them. We will bait them. Now, the question is, we can do, uh, uh, we got the squid, which is good for your, um, swordfish. We could do that and maybe get some, but I think we make more from tuna, but we can always try and see what happens, I suppose. What's everyone think? Should we do, maybe we do half-half. What do you think? We might do that. Might go, uh, yeah, we'll go half-half. Why not? Why not? What was that? Oh, so you can refund it here now. All is good. All right, all right. Well, we'll go to the herring. We'll get that by four as well. That way we've got half and half. We should be able to get a decent amount. If we get 120,000 per session, well, we could always do that. I wonder if it would be worth getting another uh, member on board to come ahead and uh, go fishing with us. We'll see what we can do here. 
Fish prices at the moment. Let's have a look. Tuna, $40 a kilo. Swordfish is only 28 Tuna is up off the charts right now. That is hectic prices. We'll go to the shop and we'll just have a look here. Might we get a better knife here as well. <clears throat> or a better hook here. 8% bigger fish. Why not? 25 grand. We'll grab that. We'll see about getting a better knife too for 25 grand. Because why not? 80% better gutting. Let on down the track. Don't need to worry about the binoculars at the moment. What we will do though is uh, check out the boat maintenance. See if we need to. Uh, we'll fill up while we're here. $300. Here we can do that. No problem. The hull. Let's say I got 1% damage. 50 bucks. Yeah. Might as well keep it. Might as well do that. Fix it up. At least that way it's kept in uh, good shape. Now we will go ahead. Uh, upgrades. We've done pretty much all the upgrades there. Don't need about worrying about anything else really. Uh, Bowie's, uh, Bowie's, sorry, we've got the best of the best, so uh, we're all good there. Storage, I don't think I can upgrade it anymore. Got it at max already. <coughs> what we'll do actually is have a look at ships. Let's have a look and see. That's the ship we've got at the moment. We'll see what there is available. 450,000, which allows you to get some lobster. Well, I'll tell you what, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't mind doing it, but, uh, Guess that's going to have to wait a little while. 450,000. I'll have to do another couple more trips there. We can definitely uh, look at doing that. Now we'll go to the bank, uh, go to the bank here. I want to go repay loan. Though it's done and uh, completely debt free now. Sitting on $63,000. Actually, I wonder what comes up saying you can borrow. Oh, you can borrow 20 or you can borrow 40. Don't need it, so I won't worry about that. Doing well at the moment. You got bar, you can go there, you get your tips. You got Harik and uh, Mackerel. We're not fishing for any of them, so we don't have to worry at the moment. Could go do a mission, but uh, really don't really need to do that. It's fast. You can't fast travel. Well, I did find out why fast travel wasn't working. Apparently, it was an option I had to select. It was working the first time, so somehow unselected itself. Well, let's go have a look for crew here and see what we can get. I don't know how many crew we are allowed to have, but either way, let's go see what we can do here. We want someone that's good at deep line, so we'll scope out deep line here and see. Not bad there for forty-three thousand, Mr. Graham Oakley. Hi there, mate. Uh, anyone else which is good at uh, deep line? Thirty-eight. Oh, there's one there for forty-eight thousand. Even better, uh, Michael or Michael? Probably Michael. Maybe. Either way, Michael Wood. Maybe. Not sure. Uh. I don't know, should I go the one for uh, 43,000 or should I go Michael Wood for 48? You know what, I might go Michael Wood, why not? We'll go ahead and hire him for 48,000. He gets 1.6% cut. No, wait. At the moment it's 1.6. The crew cut for Michael Wood is 2.7. The other guy's 2.3. You might just go that one. Graham Rakeley, 2.3%. So that's a little bit more coinage in the. Um, Bank for the boat. I swore, oh, can I swap one member? One maximum maximum of one crew member. But that's alright. Not to worry there. Um, we're making enough money. So we'll just keep who we've got them for the moment. So we got on board a St. Louis. Which is actually pretty good at uh, deep line. And she's actually good at cooking too. So that's not too bad. So that's alright. We'll, we'll keep her on board. Then we might have a look here too, uh, rescue service, we've got 10,000 per year for unlimited free towing to closest port. So if we ever run out of fuel, we can always get free towing back to the closest port. Which isn't a, such a bad thing, not that I really need it, I might actually get it though, because it's always worth uh, having, I think you pay that uh, charge monthly. So that's alright. Check that one out, and we might also get the insurance as well. That gives us back a little bit of money of what the boat's worth, but really don't really need it at the moment. Won't worry about that. We're keeping an eye on our uh, boat maintenance, which is a good thing. I think for now, folks, <coughs> we'll have a look at the weather and see what's going on. Bit of a wet and windy uh, couple of days here. Might have to skip a couple of days and go back out on the Tuesday and see how we go. So. For now, folks, I'd like to thank you for watching the, me uh, on this game and our uh, 
Forever. <laughs> Ever endeavouring adventures on the water here as we do get better. Anyways, folks, till the next one. Take care. Stay safe. I'll catch you all in a jiffy. Ciao.